So back about eight years ago, I was doing aquarium service, selling tanks, stands, canopies, filter systems, complete systems to local service customers. Was looking for some new source of income and the internet had a big appeal at that time. My idea was could I build a website that offered uh, a tank, uh, its options, um, the stands that match that tank as well as the canopy and the filter system, uh, be able to package it or, or, or palletize it in a manner that it could be shipped and in turn you would have um, the ability to get packaging costs, product costs, and shipping costs all within one click on the internet, which is something most of the websites did not offer. Hence became the birth of a website called MyFishTank.com, which now offers all of those things I just discussed. So here's how it works. You would go in and select the shape of the aquarium. You would scroll down to the size of the tank you're looking for, and it would offer to you the option of a colored back. Place it in the shopping cart, it now begins to promote to you the components that match that system. In this case, how about a stand? It offers you different finish options as well. Additionally, you can choose a canopy or, in this case, a wet-dry trickle filter with water pump assembly. And here's the great part. Once you've completed selecting all the items you're interested in, click on the Calculate Shipping button, enter your city, state, and zip code, and it will calculate the crating and shipping costs real-time to your location. And with any quality website, there's the ability to make payment via credit card on a secure server. And once the transaction's completed, I'm sent an email which allows me to view and print out the order. And after entering the order into the accounting program, we can fax it to the tank manufacturer. Once the order's complete, I'll then drive down to the manufacturer, pick up the items, and transfer them over to the crating company. The crating company will build a secure frame around the tank so that it can be shipped out truck. And this has worked quite smoothly. It's now almost eight years later. The website is doing what it was designed to do. Uh, it's generating okay income. It's not something I would be able to live off by myself. Uh, but it's, it's got the direction and it's, it's the first step in, a, in the process. Because we took the same basic framework from that website and applied it towards a new project. So the trick was to figure out what that new project was going to be. I wanted it to be something that was in the aquarium realm um, because that's where my knowledge base is and yet at the same time I wasn't looking to resell um, the same thing everyone else is reselling. I mean, for as exciting as the uh, fish tank website is, uh, I'm competing against all the other guys selling fish tanks. Um, I was looking for something new, something exciting, something no one else is doing, and basically where there's no competition. And so I kind of thought about it for a while and decided that uh, no one was doing jellyfish. And that kind of fell into uh, an area that was in, in, in interesting to me in the sense of being able to, to build something, work with your hands. Uh, I had also previously worked for a company who uh, manufactured uh, lobster tanks. And the assembly construction uh, of that seemed to kind of have a, a, a calling to me. Um, so we looked into jellyfish tanks. Up to this point, the only place to find information on jellyfish tanks was a local public aquarium with what they called a chrysal. After examining the information available, it became clear that the system was a closed loop where its water blew across its return. 
What I was looking for was something less expensive, something more hobbyist friendly, and certainly something that was completely different than what the public aquariums were using. So I set about designing my own and creating my first prototype which utilized a spray bar to try to blow the jellies away from its exit point. You can see here in our first prototype that spray bar is incorporated as the return mechanism. But the flows just didn't seem right, so we designed a second version, this one, having two water pumps in it. You can see here that the spray bar is now turned into a return chamber. The second water pump only complicated things. So in the third version, I redesigned the chamber. You can see now how the water exits over the top of the return compartment, which takes away the awkwardness. So we did one more version, a fourth version. This time the intent was to simplify or see what we could do to bring the cost down. And in this particular case, it was the faceted or dodecagon interior. Now that we have a completed working version, the trick was to figure out how to incorporate the biological filter, the wet dry trickle filter, water pump, refrigeration, and all of the plumbing items into a single cabinet. This involved the cabinet maker, and with his assistance, we were able to create a cabinet that is both functional, inexpensive, and yet very attractive. We designed a few styles, oak, cherry wood, and tried a couple different laminate versions. So after about two years worth of development, we were able to come up with a line of jellyfish display systems. We were able to apply for a trademark, uh, Jelly Aquarium, uh, and we were granted that. Uh, we've also applied for a patent for the, des the uh, design of the system. But it became real apparent real fast that it was going to be pretty hard to sell a jellyfish tank if there's no source of jellyfish. So we have to now learn how to raise or produce the jellyfish. Jellyfish start off life as a simple polyp. This is a branching structure. You can see them here, the white objects hanging on the acrylic slides. You can see a few of them where the end of that polyp, the branching end of it, is beginning to segment or what's called strobilate. It will actually discharge a small disc off the end of that polyp that disc becomes a free-swimming Ephyra, or a juvenile Medusa. These free-swimming Ephyra are easily collected using a turkey baster. I'll draw them up out of the polyp tank and move them down to what is now called an Ephyra tank. This tank is designed specifically to keep the Ephyra in constant suspension. These Ephyra will spend the next 60 to 120 days being fed a diet of freshly hatched baby brine shrimp. During this time, they'll grow to a saleable size of 2 to 3 inches. So I'm very pleased to say that what started out as the simple intent to design a tank specific for jellyfish has blossomed into a full line of jellyfish display systems as well as tanks and products for producing more jellyfish and the ability to purchase that via a website. A website that we tested thoroughly with our previous aquarium project. So being a fish guy isn't always just scales and tails. Sometimes you need to be a little entrepreneurial and create your own path. Wow.